Instead of cars, trucks, and trailers, the only rolling wheels on eastbound I-894 in Milwaukee were attached to steady asphalt pavers, rollers, and dump trucks. This is kind of a big deal for everybody. But what may look slow to you is actually rapid progress that Joe Jones knows you don't get the chance to make very often. Something that would, you know, essentially take all summer to a full year is taking four weekends. In late September, Wahlbeck Group crews from Payne and Dolan fully shut down one direction of the freeway for back-to-back -back weekends, coordinating with prime contractors Ignego, Subs, and Wista. That is no small feat, especially when you consider about 128,000 vehicles use the bypass daily. Anybody who's ever traveled this roadway before this project started knew that it needed some desperate TLC. The full directional closure allowed milling crews to rip up 67,000 square yards of old pavement Friday night into Saturday morning, a little more than three miles. Then the pavers got to work, laying down a fresh two and a quarter inch surface as upwards of 86 trucks hauled in 600 tons of asphalt an hour from a dedicated plant. With us being able to do this all full width also, we're eliminating longitudinal joints by paving it all in echelon. So in English, Joe. Helps the ride quality, helps the longevity of the pavement. Ah, we like the sound of that. A smoother drive with safer working conditions finished in a fraction of the time. It's a triple threat if you look at it that way. So it's, it's better all around. Now, Wabeck crews still need to come back in 2025 for two more weekend closures to pave a top layer and do the shoulders. But once they're done, it'll be smooth sailing along this freeway for years to come. It's a lot of long days, it's a lot of long nights, but it's at the end product, the end result is all well worth it. In Milwaukee with the WTBA, building a better tomorrow today.